Hi YouTube, it's me Amy, I'm not your average wife. I have another eBay sales update for you guys. I'm gonna try to do these once a month just to show you guys what has been selling for me and hopefully you guys will get some ideas on what to look for when you're out shopping. Okay, this um, first item is Hollister cutoff jean shorts. They're, you know, super short, the booty shorts, the Daisy Dukes, whatever you want to call them. I got those in my, one of my thrift stores was having a sale where you could fill a bag for $1. And so I don't even know what I paid for this, probably about 10 cents. And I sold them for $24.99. Next up is, I got this dress at Gabe's. I paid three dollars or five dollars for it it was new um and sold it for 25.99 it's just a dress barn dress nothing super fancy this also i got from gabe's i got it for one dollar it's a plus size dress it is not a you know nice name brand it's pink apple i believe sold it for 21.99 free shipping this is a Derek lamb dress i paid three dollars for this dress no 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 Forgive me, I paid $5 for this dress and sold it for $27.99. Derek Lamb is a pretty nice label. If you ever see that, you should go ahead and get it. These, I don't even know how to pronounce them. Perlabella Hyaluronic Acid Skin Smoothing Wrinkle Filler. I got these on clearance at Walgreens. They were just over $7 a box, like $7.24, something like that. So, I... You know, I paid like $22, but I sold the lot for $64.99. That was awesome. I get stuff from drugstores all the time, guys. Always check the clearance aisles and racks in the drugstore. Even better if you got coupons to go with it. I did not have coupons for those. These are jean bib overalls. They always, always, always sell for me. And it usually doesn't take them long. I get these for right around $6 in my Goodwills and... Sold it for $28.99 plus $10.50 shipping. These are Lane Bryant dress pants. Um, I got those for a dollar a pair at a thrift store and sold them together for $34.99. I got this in the Goodwill. I did pay $8 for it because it was new in the box. And I took a best offer of $55. And I was a little nervous to do it because the the person who made the best offer had zero feedback but they paid immediately after I accepted and I was very very happy with that this is just a little denim dress from dollhouse I paid four dollars for it it was actually in with the shirts because it, it is like a mini dress but um, I just wanted to show this to you because any any item that you get and you can put the phrase country girl in it, it people will buy it. They like that. This is one of the few mugs I've sold. It's Danoon Jane Brookshaw. I paid a dollar for that in the Goodwill. Most of their mugs are 59 cents and I wouldn't normally pay a dollar for a mug but I thought this one was really cool. And I'm glad I did because it sold for $25.99. Love that. This is an Olga gown. I'm sure I told you before, but anytime you see an Olga gown, please buy it. It is guaranteed fast money. This sold the same day I listed it. I probably could have gotten more. But Olga gowns are, they're amazing, amazing. And women go crazy for them. Same with the Penoir sets. Um, this one I didn't sell the same day I listed it, but it's not, you know, the brand is Stardust. I'd never even heard of it before. It sat for a week, possibly two, but I did sell it for $37.99. I bought that for $6. This is a cachet gown, and I wanted to show this one to you because if you have something that's long sleeved and it's a long gown you can put modest in the title if it has a high collar even better um, because women do love modest nightgowns paid three dollars for that sold it for $26.99 this crazy looking thing I got at a free 
yard sale. Last summer, oh, I went to a yard sale that was advertised. Yay. And when I was leaving that yard sale, um, a little further down the road, someone else had said it was a church they had set up a free yard sale where every single thing they had they were just giving it away and I got this thing there I think it was handmade and uh, it took me a really long time to list it it sat on a dresser in my bedroom for quite a while and then he probably sat in an eBay store for at least two months but he was absolutely free and I sold him for $24.98 this is a Talbot skirt long skirts in general do really well and Talbot's is a pretty good brand I paid four for that and sold it for $24.99 this is a vintage koopy doll he was not in good shape at all I want to try to show you look at that his legs have been pulled off pull, pull, torn off I'm sorry and re back on by someone who didn't even know what they were doing I mean I've probably it looks like I could have sent it and he had this weird mark on his face but he finally sold I took a best offer on him of $22 this is a cat suit and cat suits always do well for me too you know just a one-piece suit um kind of disco-ish I did not put disco in the title I wonder why I didn't I don't know, but I paid $6 for it and sold it for $29.99. These are things you guys should be looking for if you're trying to sell on eBay. Um, this is a denim skirt. It's a long one. It's modest. And I paid four and it sold for $26.99. Okay, this is a magazine lot. Um, I have gobs of magazines in my house because I'm always getting free subscriptions from my couponing sites. And I decided it's time to get rid of some, so I lotted them together by uh, subject matter. And I had 12 of these all about Teen Mom, and they sold for $29.99. I have not sold any of my other lots. I may give up on them, may just throw them away, donate them, I don't know. But they're just sitting in my store. But the Teen Mom one sold, so I was happy with that. This is an L.L. Bean Fox stuffed animal. I got him for a quarter and sold him for $39.99. Yay! I don't see L.L. Bean stuffed animals very often. Um, I just this past weekend got an, an L.L. Bean teddy bear that I haven't listed yet. So I'm anxious to see if the teddy bear goes for as much as the fox. Here is that Marc Jacobs coat that if you watched my haul video that I did with my daughter, we showed you this when we had just bought it. I paid $8 for it. It caught my eye as soon as I looked at the coat rack. It stuck out like a sore thumb. And um, I took a best offer on that for $165. So now that did, it took me a couple months to sell. But, you know, you just need the one buyer to want it. And someone finally did. I was so excited about that. Loved it, loved it, loved it. These are some sunglasses I got at Gabe's for $3. And I just wanted to show them to you because they're very rockabilly, retro, vintage looking. They're not actually vintage. They were new sunglasses. But just that style. And um, sold them for $17.99. This is a vintage dress. Um, the tags had been cut out of it, but I threw a Marsha Brady style dress in the title because I could just picture Marsha Brady wearing that and yay, someone bought it for $27.99. I think I paid, no, 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 that was also a bag sale in another thrift store where you could fill a bag for $5 and I got like five of these dresses, so like a dollar a piece. That's a great deal. This is a Betty Page dress. I took a best offer on this one of $45. It wasn't, you know, it it didn't look good on my mannequin. I couldn't make it. It was a uh, 2XL, so it was really hard to make it look good on my mannequin. I was not happy with the pictures, 
but I, uh, that's why I took the best offer. I only paid six for it at the Goodwill. So, you know, I was happy, not as happy as I would have been had I been able to make it look better. It was this weird fabric and it just did not look good on the mannequin. So I felt like I was happy to get what I got considering the pictures. This is a beautiful dress. This was also in that $1 with the Marsha Brady dress. Um, sold that one for 45 this was my very first flip alarm clock. Sold it for $50. I paid $350 for that at the Salvation Army. Very happy. This is my couponing skills. Um, GasX was a money maker at Rite Aid. I think sometime over the summer. And they just sat in my house for so long. Finally, I decided, let's see if I can sell them. So I, I did it um, auction style. What did I start the bid at? I started the bid at $15.99 and it went all the way up to $31 so I was really happy about that because they were actually a money maker for me to buy them at Rite Aid with the coupons I had. This is a trip dress. Trip is a you know gothic, I, I don't even know what to call it, punk, I don't know. But any time I see trip I buy it and it always sells really fast for me. $29.99 and that is, uh, well it was a size medium. Not so bad. And last but not least, here is Quacker Factory. Quacker Factory is almost always a good seller. It does have to sit sometimes, but it always sells eventually. I got this for $6 and sold it for $38.99. Okay, YouTube, that is my sales update for the month of April. And I hope you guys um, are doing good on eBay. If you have any questions, Leave it in the comment section. Thank you for thumbs upping my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. I love you guys. I love YouTube. I love eBay. And have a great week. I will talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.